if you want to record your screen in Windows 10, let's not waste time. Here are three ways to do it for free. The quickest way to record your screen in Windows 10 doesn't require any additional software. First, bring the window you want to record in the foreground. Then simply search for Xbox Game Bar or, even faster, press the Windows key plus G. What sounds like a gaming tool can also be used to make a quick screen recording. The overlay might look different depending on your screen size. In the overlay, click the recording icon to start a new recording. A small timer overlay shows the screen is currently being recorded. To finish the recording, click on the blue button with the white square. A confirmation notification pops up. If you click it before it disappears, the folder with all saved screen recordings opens. You can also view this folder by launching the game bar again and clicking on Show all captures. If the game bar doesn't launch as expected, go to Settings and Gaming and make sure the first switch is enabled to activate the game bar and there isn't a warning telling you about hardware requirements. If there is, try one of the other options. Here you also find other shortcuts, for example quick recording with Windows key plus Alt plus R. To change the output folder, you need to go to the current folder, right click and go to Properties. Then on the Location tab, change to a different folder. Be careful, I would leave it on default unless it's absolutely necessary because this is a system folder and changing system folders can lead to annoying problems if done wrong. You can also change different quality settings and enable background recording, but the options are quite limited. Gamebar can also only record a single window at a time, and some windows, like Windows Explorer, can't be recorded at all. If you need more control, here is another way to record your screen. Open Broadcaster software, or OBS Studio, is very popular among live streamers, but it is frequently used for local recording as well. Download it from obsproject.com and install. If your system is missing runtime components, it will tell you. Download and install these as well. At launch, you might first encounter a setup assistant to optimize the software for your needs and find the optimal settings. Then add a new source, in this case Display Capture, or if you specifically want to record a game, even Game Capture. Select your display and before you start recording, have a look at the settings. Select Output, then switch to Advanced Mode. Change to the Recording tab and here advanced users can select any specific codec, format and bitrate and change the output folder. The recorded frames per second can be changed under Video as well as the video resolution. If you are ready to record, click on Start Recording and the same button to stop. OBS Studio is very customizable, so if you want to see everything it has to offer, play around with different scenes, filters and overlays. Finally, my favorite recording software ended up being Captura, a mostly unknown recorder. Sadly, it is no longer being developed and sometimes a little buggy, but it has the best combination of usability and features. The buttons at the top control everything and offer explanations when hovering. Record microphone and speakers, select where to record, then hit the red button to start. Captura is very easy to understand on the one hand, but very powerful if you look at the settings. If you're trying to record and Captura asks for the missing FFmpeg library, first try to download it automatically. Otherwise, go to ffmpeg.org download a recent Windows build and direct Captura to the bin directory inside the FFmpeg folder. If you don't want to install it, select another recording option like Sharp AVI. Ideal for tutorials, you can select whether to show the mouse clicks and keystrokes, change many encoder settings, add a webcam image, adjust stuff like file naming schemes and customize a surprising amount of overlay options. Censoring, adding text and images and showing timers is all possible. 
That's it. These recommendations should cover most recording demands. I hope this was helpful to you.